Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about being a good developer, signs and your first day. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what are some signs that a developer is good that they showcase on their first day of work? And the short answer is enthusiasm and, f and good communication skills, I would say. Anything else is kind of hard to dictate at this point. Let me explain. So, I will make an argument to you. And that argument is that it is nigh on impossible to tell if someone is a really good software developer by just talking to them for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes or so forth without projecting quite a lot of your own value system. Now I know this because unfortunately this is the way it has to work when you're in an interview stage because when you're interviewing I don't have time and managers in general they don't have time to get to know you to the point where they can really tell if you have potential if you're giving it your all giving it your all all of these things so we humans we do the thing that we've always done and we're going to do that until f pretty much forever or until we all transform into a higher state of uh, existence and that is that we make a gut feeling call on pieces of information that are just snapshots in time of the whole picture. What that basically means is that just because you failed every single math test in school, that doesn't mean that you suck at math. It means that during, uh, in that exact moment, given those exact circumstances with that tactic or approach of measuring how good you are at math, you did not pass the bar. There are plenty of examples of people, some of the most richest people in the world, who didn't cut it in school and today are out earning every single person they went to school with. This is what I'm talking about. Just because there is a certain way, like a popular way we do something, that doesn't mean that that's the whole picture. And the same thing comes, it comes to measuring skill within a programmer. So even though in an interview or in a very short period of time, I can get hints or like a person can get hints to how good someone is, it's impossible to say with absolute accuracy how good they are. Maybe all that was, uh, they just needed a little bit of encouragement. Maybe they were nervous. There's so many factors. And trust me, guys, managers are not stupid. And, well, not all of them, but they're not stu so stupid to not understand that you're nervous on your first day. You're nervous or that there's some ex factor that plays in that makes your performance a little bit worse when you're in an interview. People are not idiots. Trust me, I, the only reason I have the job that I have today was because my boss was smart enough to understand that, yeah, Frederick has never done this sort of work before. He's never worked in Scala before, so probably I shouldn't be too harsh on him if he doesn't know all the language conventions. If he can solve the problem, we're gonna train that little extra bit so that he just knows that, oh, the parentheses goes on these methods and not these methods. And that was fine. It's the same thing with you guys. So when you're dealing with a, like a developer on their first day, the only thing that you can really, really look at is how engaged are they? Are they happy about being in that company? Do they seem interested? Do they want to learn things? Because that is something that sets the tone for future learning opportunities and future work. It's not about, I mean, the, there are some people who on their first day, like some developers, and I'm sorry to have to admit that I used to be like this. I wouldn't say my first day, but I wanted to show off, so I did, of course, as we will, or as I will, because, hey, who doesn't want to prove to, who, who, what junior doesn't want to prove that they're smart to people who have been working for more than 20 years, more than you? So what I, what I did and what a lot of juniors will do is that they try to like, they throw around some words about, oh, this is, oh, we're doing this when you're being showed, like this senior developer is showing you how the system works. So what you should be doing here, note to the past, past me, because future me is smarter now, past me, shut the fuck up and listen to what that person is telling you because 
they also are aware of that this thing that they're showing you, it's not perfect. There are nice tools that could solve this and there's other ways to do it, but this is the way it works. And it's better for you to understand how it works before you start talking about theoretical situations where you can rewrite the whole system, which is never gonna happen. That's just in general a better, a better idea. And it's, it goes the same thing, I do the same thing today. So when I have a junior developer who start talking about a lot of improvements and like, oh yeah, we should fix this, we should fix that. I try to, we try to encourage that. Like, I mean, that's not an indicator of skill. Just because you know a bunch of tools, guys, don't think that they, like, that means that, oh, we think that you're so good at this. Some people might get fooled by this, but the people who really know their shit are not gonna get fooled by that. It's very simple because dropping a bunch of tools doesn't mean that you understand when to apply them and how to solve real problems, unfortunately. But if you show that you're interested and you start to pick up, like if I show you that, oh, we're using this system of working and I, we're doing it this way and this way, and you immediately just grasp that, oh, okay, cool, you're doing it this way because I'm guessing you have this problem, right? And you just nail it immediately and I see that, yeah, that's exactly right. This was a really ugly solution in this area, but we had like a, and they just go, yeah, you, have, you probably had a short deadline and this is probably just a way to so, save some time, right? Immediately, great input, great in understanding, insights. This is great stuff because that means that you understand the problems that I am trying to show you and like how this system is working on your first day. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for quick understanding of the system that we are working on. Nobody fucking cares if Kubernetes can do, the, can do this better or Go can do this better or blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. They will most likely just agree with you and say, yeah, you, you, you absolutely, we could, that would be a nice solution and if it is, I mean, unless it is really something you just immediately can see with, and this is very rare that a junior can do this, a senior can do this, usually they can just say that, well, you know what's pretty cool? There are actually a few minor tweaks we could do to this that makes this go even better and then people will listen to you and we will take that under, under consideration. So it's a balancing act, it's very tricky. Apart from that, something that is in a good indicator on that a developer is good on their first day is pretty much their connectivity with people, like their social interactions. If enthusiasm is the thing that indicates how much potential you have in adopting and learning quickly and having a good attitude about it, then the social aspect is the second most important part. Uh, they kind of tie in, I mean, they overlap, I would say, but in essence, what you're looking for in a developer is that they have the social skills to understand that, like they have, they have the ability to communicate effectively with other people, and they're not like weird about talking to people or pair programming or stuff like that. Like they are a pleasant experience to work with. They are pleasant to talk to, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Because if you've already passed passed the technical interview now starts the real work and nobody can from the first day of work tell if someone's good technically uh, in a technical capacity because you need to get a few exercises or like a few stories under your belt in order for us to determine how good you actually are that's why i've always told you before the interview guys it's just the first stage it's just the first thing that we do in order to check if you have the skills to even try to work in the company, but when, when you are in the company, well then the real work starts. And now you will have a few weeks, a few days, a few months, depending on how much patience the company has with you and how well you are doing to prove that you actually you fit in there. But that's not something I'm gonna be able to tell from day one. So what I want you to take away from this is that the things that usually to dictate if, or at least gives a hint to how good a developer is on their first day is going to be number one, how enthusiastic are they about like working there? Are, are they like listening to you when you're teaching them how the system works? Do they pick up like, oh, they, they draw their own conclusions and they understand that, oh, we're doing some really cool stuff over here because that's really important and this shit code over here is really, really ugly because we needed to deliver on a short deadline or it's a demo project and stuff like that. They just kind of flow into the work and they understand that 
there are way ups to every, everything and they're just enthusiastic about learning and understanding. The second thing is the social aspect. Do you have or do they have social skills that are strong enough that they can clearly communicate between with other people because if it's very hard for for other developers to talk to you or it's very hard for you to understand or you're not flexible you have a lot of strong opinions and you get moody or upset if you don't get your way then this is going to be a really really shitty work like a working relationship and even if you are the best coder in the world your work performance or your impact on the company is going to be negative or very often be negative you're not going to fit in as well as we would like you to fit in. But, and even if your skills are not the best in the world, we can train you to become even better. And technical skills, as I said, is usually something that is very hard to measure on the first day. That is going to show itself after at least a few weeks of work. Have a great day.